Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 22 of the Disgaea PC LP, uh, the horror mode and whatnot. Uh, so let's get into this uh, next chapter. So the Prennies have escaped and we don't like that. Uh, and I haven't done anything since the last episode. So I'm just going to check to see. Uh, it's always good to check your like mana levels and your uh, emotional exam. Yeah, I could probably win against this. Uh, just wanted to check. So, I think the attack of the zombie over there is probably going to have an important hint for you. Well, okay. And yeah, I'm going to give you a pretty straightforward hint. Go to the Lunar Snowfield, the brains are there. No, I don't think you can call that a hint. Cool. Thanks. Why'd you have to tell? Oh, why? Why was that even a thing you needed to do? Okay. Enemy boost times three. Okay, so I see where this is supposed to go. You're supposed to essentially pick up a bunch of people, throw them all about, which is what I'm going to do. Um, put him here. And take him. Uh, uh, take him away. Um, uh, then I think I'll be able. I think that's enough people for me to be able to, uh... No. God. Damn. I don't like how uh, it doesn't... Because hitting circle cancels actions. But I don't like how it doesn't count picking something up as an action. It just uh, keeps the main action as the placement of the person. Uh, Mega Ice... Oh yeah, you need to ice, this thing is gone. Okay, so now everyone is weak once again. Which means that I can get back to uh, the normally covered program. Like, yeah. Every chapter, they get a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Uh, I may take some time after this episode to grind a little bit. I'm not sure how I'll grind or what I'll grind. But maybe I'll grab. I don't know. I have not yet decided if I even will. Uh, I don't need to heal on air with one. Okay. So these demons are definitely new and not. Yeah, Cyclops, those aren't in the future games. Okay. So this is a pretty good. Let's go for Blaze Knuckle. Because if I just weaken them, then uh, I don't have to really worry about uh, leveling her up because it'll just be easier. Awesome. Which, honestly, I think they should have carried over to future games. Like there, there's always a few that they have to drop, but they usually add more. But I wish they kept the Cyclops because it does have a cool design. But one of the designs I do like that they brought back, I'm pretty sure, is the uh, big shark guys. Like they're, they're just really big sharks, and I like them. I don't have them on my team, but that's because um, generally monster classes are just kind of worthless. Because they have less options in terms of weaponry, and they also... Uh, Uh, and they also only get the moves that their monster race learns. They don't have any real variants in them. Like, Laharl, I could teach him healing magic if I wanted. But I don't want to, so I won't. But the monster, I don't think you really could. Unless you go through the trouble of, like, pupil stuff. 
you would have to with a normal human. But if I say I wanted to teach Laharl axe skills, I could just put an axe on him. I wouldn't have to make an axe pupil and then do it. And even a, mon a monster couldn't learn an axe skill because they can't equip an axe to, like, do the move. So it's kind of pointless. They're just generally weaker, but they level up faster, I believe. Which is the trade-off. At least that's what I think the trade-off is. I'm only making a conjecture because I don't quite remember. Okay. It's nice that I don't have to be super careful. Actually, I want to be. I just want to be careful about this. It's nice that I don't have to be super careful about uh, wiping because my characters are not going to lose to anyone at this level. Uh, I believe I said it before that uh, the end game, like the final uh, fight, the main boss is like 80. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies? You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What? Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan. It's not Hey or You. You have never called me by my name, not even once, since the first time we met. S so what's it to you? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. Ugh! What do you know about being an overlord? Forget it! I'm not talking to you anymore! Okay. Uh... Huh. Okay, so this is... I'm pretty sure it's like a prime map of, uh... Of, like... It's almost like, uh... Matryoshka dolls. Where it's all, like, inside. Because each one is, like, doubled. One, two, four, uh, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and then if you add them all together, um, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift and throw. Because I'm not gonna get, like, any experience if I just kill them as is. Lift and throw. this, but I can't, so I'm going to use that. Oh, damn. Okay, I will not use that. Um, yeah, I'm glad I chose Wind Cutter, because this guy, obviously, at the highest level, so he has the most health, and would be the least likely to die. Uh, I'm just going to put her over here, and if they decide to come, then they come. To capture kill. Level? No. No level, unfortunately. that people would do, so they just added it in anyway. Uh, they added it in originally in uh, Disgaea D2, which stands for Dimension 2, um, 
which is a direct sequel to this game. Um, I just like how they just added it in because so many people would just abuse it anyway. They're just like, you know what, fine. We, we can just make it a uh, an actual part. Okay. Asteroid drop. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, like the final boss of this game is only is that I don't want to say only is level 80. So, Etna is already more than halfway there. Uh, the Harl and Fenay are getting there quick. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And now that I have the Cave of Ordeal opened, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a grind. If I do even have to grind. Within an episode or two's time, uh, I might be able to challenge the first level of the cave where deals again. Uh, just be well, you're level two. I'm gonna bother wasting. Any... Okay, you're level 32. Um, I some of these maps I do remember. Like I did remember like that that one map with like a lot of the zombies, but some of them I just have no recollection. Like, I had no idea that this was a map. And I played it before, and they didn't add any maps into the PC release, I don't think. So, that, that's just how big these games are, and uh, whatnot. Although I do remember some of the tutorial maps that they got rid of in this version, which it's, it seems. I'm not quite sure if they got rid of it, or if they all took place on the same map and they just condensed into like a single map. They didn't want to put a lot of time and effort into making just a tutorial because it's rather simple. I'm like most of the stuff you could probably just figure out by playing the game, which is good game design. Like, oh, you come over here. What? Welcome to the Netherworld Hospital. Get treated. Okay. Well, oh, you can see the HP and the SP and the hell and the hell uh, above my hell line. It, oh, so it costs that much to heal them. Oh, there's a heal all and it gives me the amount of hell. Okay, so I know what this does. Oh, I can be collected based on the numbers below, which has the totals of everything. Okay, makes sense. Hmm, weapon shop. I wonder what I buy here. And stuff like that. And, oh, items. I equip. Like, it's, it's very... It's a very straightforward type of game that doesn't really need tutorials all that much. Etna? Hmm? Why is Laharl so stubborn? Huh? You kidding? He's always been like that. I don't think that's entirely true. Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. Oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high, but don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. That's not weird at all. Well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. A human? Yep. She was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight. And eventually, the prince was born. Hmm. Is that so? She was always saying things like, demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? 
the queen died. Huh? A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. There was only one way to save him. Which was? The life of one who loved him. Then? That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so, but I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved. Okay, so we got some plot. So, my question always was, uh, oh god, you're gonna be fucking annoying if you, I don't get rid of... Um, okay, it's over there. That's where all the stuff is. Okay. And I could put it on red. Could also put it... Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I'm just gonna, gonna try and shoot the fuck out of it. Uh, can I hit it from here? Can't hit those guys. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I only killed two. Okay. Okay, drop that there. All those guys level up. And then I'm gonna. Didn't expect it to kill. Kinda of glad it didn't. Uh, uh, throwing him over there, because I don't need him. I want him to start uh, getting these guys down. Because I'm going to be destroying the attackless one in the enemy boost anyway. Um, but he'll probably need a healer. End turn. Status is because I want to know when I get Winged Slayer because it's that's a it, that's a really good move. Um, put him up here. Nope. Okay. Hurt. Nope. Wing Cutter. I guess I'll um, yeah, Wing Cutter is or a uh, Winged Slayer is I believe the final sword skill that you can get, and it is awesome because it's just a three by three block with like. One, like a yellow one, like one or two behind the person using it. And it's just really useful because it's one of the few, like, really good AoE attacks. Oh, you guys are weak to okay, fire. Okay, get ready, buddy. Braveheart that shit. Blazing uh, Knuckle. Awesome. Yeah, shouldn't be weak to fire, kids. If you can train yourself to not feel fire, do it. <laughs> nah, but don't play with fire. Seriously. That's dangerous. Don't want to lose an eye, or a finger, or, you know, your skin, because you decided to play with fire one day. Oh, spear counter. And it paralyzed. Okay. 
splitting the XP between two people. Okay. Hang over here, Blade Rush. Wink. Ah, oh, seriously, it didn't kill. Not gonna bother. Let's kill anyway. Okay. Surprised they're not moving down yet. Guess they really don't want to. That's fine. I'll come over here. Keep the side drop. Okay. So level 31, level 29. Doing pretty good in all honesty on XP and whatnot. Still at level with the rest of them. Okay, counter. Didn't counter the other one. Um, so I'm gonna move the Harl up here. Have him attack with that. Side jobs and that goes. Good. And level. Venomous bell. Under the Under the moon. Under the moon. Down where it's brighter. Everything's blighter. Under the moon. What are those? <laughs> What are those? <laughs> those are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sins. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies are the souls of sinful humans. It's not really a legend. It's just kind of fact. Yes, and they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight. Edna, stop them! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! We'll drag them back here if we have to. <laughs> Who are you? Take Prinnies' souls to Red Moon. No one interfere. We'll see about that. Those prinnies are mine. They're my vassals for all eternity. Are you worried? Yes. It would be a lie to say I was not, but I shall leave it to the one who loves him most. Okay. Fizz, Cameron. Okay. Uh, these guys... Seems to like it's gonna be a two hitter. Oh, they're doing quite a bit of damage. Right there. That's uh, good. missed. That quite good. Okay, uh, it's gonna take a bit of doing. I'm going to move Braveheart Harl again. Blade Rush. Soggy Drop. He doesn't know what- Ah, damn it. Oops, I, mean, me. I meant to heal him, but he had already attacked, so I couldn't move him backwards. Ah, unfortunate. That is unfortunate. And must do some damage. Ah, okay. Well, we're 
worst things could happen. You'll probably survive this round. Okay. So... Let's do that. Good. Um, okay, so that's the boss one. Oh, he's at the bottom. So these are all just really tough. <laughs> okay, you don't like fire, you don't like wind. But what I will do is I will uh, Omega Ice, Gig Ice, and around Laharl. Laharl will use Blaze Blue. Almost killed. Put the Harl in her in the way of those guys. Just so there's less chance that they'll attack her. But unfortunately, they got her. Oh well. Uh, not much I can do at this point, huh? Uh, get up there. Kill him. Okay. Uh, if is the only one that kills anyone for the rest of this map, I would imagine. Level again. Great heart. Okay, no, I don't want. It. Basically, I'm just moving these guys out of the way because I don't want them countering and killing anybody. Okay. Light Okay. And now, before I move the heart, I want to use power up. Even though it's Hurricane Slash, I don't think it has a wind element to it. Kill, really? Oh well. You definitely will die next turn. 47 health. Um, okay, level 4, level 4. You're only level 1, but I don't use you that much. So that's. Uh, I use Hurricane Slash a lot because it is a great move. Wow, didn't level. Okay. Did you level prior to that? I think you did. Can't quite remember. With work. Work? That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Huh. You sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. 
Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? To save my son's life. Because of my death, my son shut away his feelings, but he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. Of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you. Without considering your reasons. Without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude, Prince, take care. Blonde, Etna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. Ah! Red moon reflected in Laharl's eyes, swaying sadly. A gentle, loving mother who gave up her life to save her son. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the red moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. Laharo! When Laharo called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. I'll always remember this sad tale of a mother and her son. Okay, so, yeah, it's revealed that, oh, the red printy was actually the Harl's mom, who, like, what, uh, because she committed the sin, became a printy. And it's like, oh man, that, that's true, like, parental love. Like, I'll, I'll watch over you even after death as this sin penguin. And you did, uh, it is noticeable that, uh, when their souls leave, they just kind of return to being, like, fabric. Uh, because, like, the soul is just the thing that's keeping them inflated. Like, that's all that's inside. And, uh, they explore, like, the Prinny's, uh, like, essence and whatnot, like, that type of thing. And the way they act in Disgaea 4 with uh, Valva Torres being a Prinny instructor. <laughs> Which I'm excited to play. Because eventually I will play it. Uh, I mean, I already have, but I played it again. I played it twice already. Warning, warning! A hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. His name is Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Bonjour! I am your own personal Dark Adonis! With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Golden takes the netherworld by storm! Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mogul Girl Etna Stardust Memoir, episode...
episode nine, Invincible Captain Gordon. Soldiers' tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. Damn, that was like super posh Britishy, and I didn't even realize it was Etna speaking, except for the fact that I said Etna. Um, okay, with that, I'm gonna end this episode here because it's been going on for a little bit. Uh, so. Hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next episode.